Ask you back, I'm R. Bake. And today we're making the vegan tinga tortilla rice bake. There's a lot of ingredients as you can see, but it's worth it guys. And it goes really quickly, so let's get started. Okay, right. over here we have our pan heating up, so we're gonna put our olive oil in. Okay, Once it's heated up, we're gonna be putting in the... We're gonna saute our onions, onions. and garlic. And we're not quite ready. So, oh. Yeah, here we are. We're ready. There you go. So we've got some diced onion going in. Yeah, the blue one. I'm gonna do this for a while so put the garlic in. No, you don't. You put them both in. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, and some minced garlic. <laughs> and get that going for just, you're gonna mix it together, and then we're gonna quickly add in our meat. And you guys know that we're plant-based. If you're doing this with non-plant meat, uh, based meat, I would suggest that you uh, make sure you get the least amount, what do you call it? The lean. The lean, lean. one, because you don't want a lot of oil left in your pan, okay? All right, so we've got plant-based. This is gonna go in too, so you're gonna add that in, just crumble it in. Give it just a minute. And guys, basically all we're gonna do is we'll cut away because you, you don't have to watch this boring part. We're gonna start to put the meat in. <laughs> gonna crumble it. Hey, if you guys don't have one of these, hang on, babe. This is excellent. It's a tool for your Instant Pot, but we're gonna show you how it really works well any type of meat that you wanna grind apart. Get it in there. There we go. It's a fantastic tool. Love it. It's not that expensive, guys. All right, we're going to just basically let this cook for a couple minutes, so we'll be back, okay? Okay, guys, this is ready. Now, I'm going to remind you what we already have in here. We have our plant-based uh, beef, onions, and garlic, and we've let them brown and, and cook, okay? And now what's going in are our black beans, and we drain them, but do not rinse them, okay? Because you want to use that as part of our thickener. All right, mix that in. And then we're going to add our dry ingredients. We have in here uh, cumin, smoked paprika, salt, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. Put that in. Baby, you want to mix that up for me? Thank you. Okay. We're going to cook this for about two minutes, guys, so we'll see you in a sec. I forgot, guys. Uh, it also goes in the um, chipo adobe chipotle peppers. We've got one that we have minced. and a teaspoon of the adobe sauce. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Get all that goodness. This has a little spicy kick. All right, okay, now we'll see you in a minute or so. All okay, right, guys. Go. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, I was just about to say, this is what you want to look, want it to look like. Yep, so we in here, remember, we have our plant-based meat, or whatever beef you're using, black beans, all our dry seasonings, uh, adobe peppers, and adobe sauce. Next goes in tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Get all the goodness out of the bag. And just in case we didn't say, this is like a one-pot meal, so you need to get something that's going to go in from stove top to a... Oops. Jeez. don't drop your can in what you're cooking. His okay? nickname is Grace, guys, so it's self-explanatory. Okay, and then this is your... What's this bag? Diced, diced, uh, diced tomatoes. tomatoes. Okay, that right. goes in. I promise I won't drop this in the can. And we're going to need the juice of one lime. There we go. Baby, you want to give that a good mix? Okay, guys, we're going to mix this together. And then we're going to add some water. So let me know when you're ready. And once we add the water, we're going to stir to combine, and then we're going to bring this to a simmer, and then we'll go to the next step after that. Water. Water. Watch out. Spreading. Coming in, guys. Two cups of water going in. Oh, that's already gorgeous. Look at that, guys. I mean, seriously, that's beautiful. Okay, guys, we're not going to make you wait, so we're going to bring this up to a simmer. When we get there, we'll come back. See you in a bit. Grab it. Okay, we have a simmer. We're going to add in our rice. It's a cup and a half. You want to get that stir bag? Okay, we're going to make in. sure our, um, we have a simmer. Then all we're going to do, guys, is just cover this and let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes because you're basically cooking your rice in this. So we're going to just put our lid on if I can find it. It's right there. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit because my simmer has gone away. All right, guys, I'm going to pull this back up to a simmer, cover it, and we're going to see you in 20 minutes. Okay.
Okay guys, it has simmered for 20 minutes. Now what you want is your rice to almost be ready, okay? Just almost, okay? It's smidgen under being cooked fully, and this is in the recipe, because it's gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes and that's when the rice is gonna continue to cook. So, you wanna stir it up a little bit back before we put it on there? Because the last step, guys, we're just going to sprinkle some cheese on top. Okay, now flatten it out again. <laughs> Pretty again. Okay, there we go. Okay. Little peaks. And we just sprinkle half your cheese, cheddar cheese. It's light, so. I would suggest either using um, Vital Life or Vita Life. Is it Vital Life? Vital Life. Yeah, both of these are great melting cheeses and they taste good. All right, that's half. I forgot. <laughs> and then we're just going to put. Um, Tortilla chips on it, guys. Just want to cover it with a layer of tortilla chips. So we'll come back when this is ready. Okay, guys, we've got our layer of tortilla chips, and just want to gently press them down. Oh, okay. Don't break them like I do. You can use your fingers. That's what would be better to use your fingers. They're your best tools that you have. Then you won't break them. Okay. And then we're just going to sprinkle our remaining cheese. Okay, a few more guys. All right, then we're just gonna, Brady, have your, um, is this warm? No, okay, watch out Brady. Just gonna, gonna pop, pop this in the way. oven. It's at 425 and we're going to bake this for 10 minutes, guys. Just pop you out of the way. Okay, come on. Brady, come here, Brady. Come here, sweet pea, come here, come here, come here. All right, can you get it in there? All right. Open the stove, please, we have room. Okay, we'll see you in 10 minutes. All right, guys. Okay. Yeah, the oven. And I'm gonna put it back in, guys. Well, no, our cheese is starting to melt. Okay, it's vegan cheese, so it is what it is. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna put the lid on it and let it sit for a few minutes before we cut it because I want everything to set up so you can see how pretty it looks, okay? So we'll see you back for the final tasting and whatever. Bye. Okay, we're back, guys. And I, I hope it's set up a bit, but if not, for filming's sake, <laughs> we're gonna slice it right now. Okay, and you can top it whatever you would put on a taco or enchilada. So we have some sour cream and fresh sliced jalapenos. There's a little bit of sour cream on top. A couple of slices of jalapenos. Depends on if you like it spicy or not, how many pieces you want to put on there. Cameraman, you can get a shot. See guys, this is so beautiful in there. Check this out, that's gorgeous. Usually make a better cut, but. All right, so all we have to do now is just gotta test it. Super hot, guys. You can see the steam. This is fresh out of the oven, okay? Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Describe it. The rice is cooked well. All the flavors, the peppers. You can taste the tomatoes. Okay, I guess my work here is done, kids. All right, guys, uh, we thank you for hanging out with, oh, tell them what they need to do. Go below, hit the like button, subscribe, make this recipe, and tell us what you think. All right, guys, spread the love. Thank you for hanging out with us. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye.